Hey, how you going? Let's take a look at Australia. Alrighty, first up we have, oh, let me move this up. All right, we have, I got this from an Australian friend and I just wanted to say, this stuff is so good. And if we look, it is uh, Twinnings of London, or Twinnings. No matter what I say, it'll probably be wrong. <laughs> Australian afternoon, brisk and full-bodied. This looks like uh, tea, right? Yeah, 10 tea bags. And just a reminder, you do have the hills and the kangaroos, confirming this is indeed Australian. This flavor was actually designed by our ex-prime minister, Kevin Rudd. No kidding. Lots of people in the comments say it's their favorite tea, so this must be pretty popular. Got to tell me what you think down below. So somebody got this crack in the driveway that has really opened up. <laughs> and, uh, well, just take a look at this. Even the potholes in Australia are shaped like Australia. <laughs> I swear you can't write this stuff. The amount of shapes we've seen, the, the unique shape of Australia that finds its way into everyday life, truly magical. Uh, but you can chalk it up to another map without Tasmania. Poor Tasmania. Alrighty, this is captured. What is this magpie trying to tell me? Let's turn it up a little bit. Okay, they're holding out a little bit of food. We're in a beautiful area. Beautiful, nice yard. Why is it so interesting hearing them talk? Gets me every time. He's, he's apprehensive. There he is. Oh, no, he doesn't want it. <laughs> that was hilarious. I mean, he's got a cool voice. How about that? Um... God, they're one of those creatures that are so, like, they're actually beautiful, right? But they're intimidating, too. But they're pretty, seeing them seeing them talk and just be kind of calm. Really cool. And uh, going to the comments, they seem to think that he's just telling you, hey, I would love to have some of that, but I'd like if you just dropped it and I'll get it off the floor. Uh, I don't really want to pick it out of your hand, which I suppose is a good thing um, because, you know, you don't want them packing you, your nail off on purpose. <laughs> or, uh, more properly put, just throw it, you bastard. That's that's probably what he said. Well, being a real big macho man sometimes goes to extremes. No airbags. We die like real men. <laughs> uh, that sounds about right. All right, now this next one is kind of... Um, wild all over the place uh basically they say my car got stolen in the northern territory is this something or am i paranoid now basically i don't it's gonna take me forever to read all this so i'm gonna have this on full screen and you can pause it and read this in its entirety okay so go ahead and pause and read that if you would like i'm gonna sum it up basically that uh they had kind of like a secondary car that they didn't use much parked in the yard or something and or I'm sorry on the side of the driveway I believe and it was dragged out by these guys in a white ute that passed by the house a number of times in the last couple of weeks they dragged it out and they're almost sure that it's them then this uh, letter was in their mail and it looks really fake it's from St. George Bank which someone confirmed like is or might be a real bank, but this is not what their documents look like. This is not what their letters look like. Everything about this looks weird and kind of made up. Uh, a lot of red flags. And the comments are kind of all over the place. So I'll let you read this comment. Again, you can pause and read. Uh, but they, you know, think it might be some sort of attempt at being sly criminals, right? With this little bit of system they have. But they're seeing holes in it, too, where they might be easy to catch and they're not going to be able to get away with it long. Uh, basically making people think that the bank is repoing the car 
and uh, don't call the cops because it's, uh, you know, it's your problem, basically. <laughs> That's the gist of it. Uh, some people in the comments go the other way. Only one or two maybe have actually considered that the original poster here might be trying to commit it, uh, commit insurance fraud. So that's a kind of a radical other way to look at it, which could be true, could not be true. I'm not really sure because I don't know enough. Uh, but the OP, you know, assured them that they're not doing that. Why would they say all these different details if they were trying to commit fraud and why would they post online and stuff? So I just thought this was kind of interesting. I also am throwing this up there, um, not only for content, but rather just to as a heads up to anyone watching. Really, and this goes for any country, but I guess Australia right now, too. Yeah, just always be aware. I think uh, I, you don't have to hear that from me, um, but always be aware and, and be wary of documents and random things. Always check stuff twice or three times. Maybe get a second opinion on stuff. Because, you know, someone might fall for this, and that would suck if people ended up stealing cars so easily by trying to make them think that it was repoed and that they're in trouble, they're not paying it right or something. Here's another row of comments that you can pause and read if you would like. If uh, you have any theories on this or any anything to add, please tell me in the comments. I would find that pretty interesting to see what you guys have to say. For those sensitive, we are looking at a spider post. Again, we're looking at some golden orbs. Welcome to lovely Australia, ladies and gents. <laughs> there, uh, don't don't fear. There's just uh, a ton, dozens of golden orbs chilling. Uh, and if you didn't see already, they uh, they have these trees. Well, yeah, they got these on lockdown. <laughs> so, yeah, don't go that way. They 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 captured that. Okay, so this post was submitted by an American. And uh, they want to know, is this really what goes on in a random day as an Aussie? Let's see. Back up! Back the fuck up! Mom, come get the f***ing kangaroo! Hey, sit down! Sit! Hey, it's okay! Hey, Ooh. back up! Ooh. Mom! Ah! Get the f*** off me, you mother f***er, you! Mom! Get the tranquilizer for the kangaroo! <laughs> Oh my God, what a shit show. Oh, well, that guy is not going to get along with that Roo. And I don't think that Roo is going to put up with that. It's tough. You always got to be ready for a surprise kangaroo fight. The other day, I was walking down the street after having paid three koalas for a coffee when this big gray jumped out and went right for my kidneys. Barely escaping my life. <laughs> Sounds like a random Tuesday in Australia. Yes, pretty much. Often there's more, though. And they're starting to get more sophisticated. Oh, that's Dave. Everyone knows Dave. Sticking on that kangaroo note, <laughs> take a look at this guy. Is this guy living the best life or what? He is literally out in the most comfortable position you could ever dream up. Soaking up the sun and look at him. He is on cloud nine. No f given. And as people told us in the comments... And with this one, we have, uh, well, spotted in the garage, in the garage, in suburban Sydney. Not in the middle of Outback. No, no. This is in Sydney. Here we go. Ready? Look at that. <laughs> Look at the size of this fella. Wow. So fascinating looking at the scales, right? And just looking at the patterns. Wow. Look at this guy. How do I move? Here we go. Wow. Get a look at him. <whistles> Can't even escape these guys in suburbia around Sydney. This is what sets Australia apart, guys. Uh, OP says that she was a diamond python after a short photo shoot with some amazing close-ups. She was encouraged onto a broom, which she very placidly moved onto and had a short walk to be released. She was calm, didn't try to bite, didn't seem to have any ticks, and did a massive shit on me oh my goodness was very heavy had a lot of raw strength seemed to have a large meal recently in the hills district for anyone wondering make sure and give a wave if you see uh this little miss diamond python perusing the streets around you Alrighty, now i thought this was actually pretty funny it says uh, what are your thoughts on this map on my son's toy greetings from europe and uh as we can see there is beautiful Australia. 
represented. Okay, looks pretty legit, right? Now, first thing I notice is it just says Australia. And, well, it doesn't really care about anywhere in Australia except Hobart. So not only did they not forget Tasmania, so that's a win, but uh, Tasmania is getting rep while no one else is. Hobart in Tasmania, rep in the whole country. Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth, sorry. Come again. Now show us where it says made in Tasmania. <laughs> this is called overcompensating for maps without Tasmania. <laughs> this is titled the Aldi Middle Isle is always a wild ride. And uh, you know what? Even in the U.S., I would have to say the same thing. It is the Middle Isle for us. And you just never know what you're going to find there. This is from Wellness Plus, a foldable wheelchair at Aldi. Just randomly this week. <laughs> so... There you go. Off to a great start. Also, while you're here, pick up this kind of creepy looking owl statue thing. Yeah, which uh, the head is very clearly detached from the rest. So I suppose this probably turns like an owl's head would. There you go. I'm going to move on from that. <laughs> Jeez. 75 inch ultra HD smart TV, 4K. Don't forget the 4K um, for 849 AUD. I don't know if that's a good price or not. Then we also have a lift up recliner. Look at that. So, uh, I mean, geez, you can really just go change your life at Aldi this, uh, in the next few days. Get your recliner, get your TV, get your owl. And if that owl happens to scare you, when you go for a drink in the middle of the night, get a glass of water, you fall, you break your leg from the shock. Well, then you do have your foldable wheelchair stowed away, correct? Because he got it for a good price at Aldi. Aldi, they got you covered. So if you missed it, we did live stream for a little bit during the total solar eclipse, uh, which was actually right here. Let me just click on it. This was over North America only. It was pretty cool. And uh, if you were curious, if you're at least watching this from uh, New Zealand or Australia, well, you guys have don't have to wait too long for total solar eclipses, July 28th of 2028 and the 25th of November of 2030. You guys get a two for two deal. You, two years apart, you get total solar eclipses. So look at the, that totality path right near Brisbane, maybe a little bit north and cutting a line right there. Or Sydney's getting real lucky in, which one is this? I believe this is the 2028 one. Uh, so coming down like this, and then right through Sydney, New South Wales, and Southern Queenslander, getting a treat with this one. Uh, but sadly, people are predicting that Sydney is going to, well, throw up some clouds in the way uh, in front of this celestial event. Let's hope not. Perhaps New Zealand will have a clear sky. Ah, uh, just another sad reminder that, uh, well, some places are just unbelievably expensive nowadays. The cost of living is through the freaking roof. I don't know how we're all making it. Outback edition, cost of living. <laughs> no Aldi, Kohl's, Woolies, or IGA, just the one shop. My kids love fruit and yogurt. It will bankrupt me in the end. Let's take a look. Here is the receipt in question. Now, uh, this is tough because you're out and out back, and if you only have one shop in here, well, what are they going to do? They're going to take advantage of that, right? They're your only choice. They get to charge kind of what they want. <laughs> and it certainly looks like they did. Let's look at some of the highlights. Cheese, tasty something. 1380. That's crazy. Uh, broccolini bunches, 1098. Avocados, three. Three avocados, that's it. 15 bucks. Holy smokes. 15 Aussie dollars. Now, I know for me, uh, adjusted with the currency, that would probably be around 10 or 11 bucks uh, US. That's still really expensive. I can get a bag of six avocados from Costco or a couple other stores like Valley Produce, things like that. Um, I can get five or six avocados for about $4, uh, maybe five U.S. dollars. And, you know, they come from either within or they come from Mexico. So they're kind of on the pricey side, but compared to that, they're a good deal. Look at this watermelon. Holy smokes, dude. Ten fifty nine Deli chicken bag, fourteen forty nine Wonder Wheat. 1371 raisin toast 24 bucks 
what is going on? This poor soul had to spend $250 for a relatively normal trip, I'm sure. It's not like they went all out and got food for the apocalypse or anything. Raisin toast, raisin the total. Ain't that the truth? Automates. Nothing screams Australia like this. That's the title of this. Let's take a look. <laughs> this will be our last one. Oh, big spider on the car. God. Oh! <laughs> I was not expecting that. I should have expected that. I was scared enough by the huge ass spider, of course. Uh, just freaks me out. I know they're not dangerous, most of them, but they just freak me out, especially on your car. Uh, and then, f how the heck? You see the gap here? It's not big. How does this guy even think that he's going to fit through there? But I know they do. They're freaks. He's going to somehow crawl through the window into the car, which is horrifying. But th in this case, thankfully, that magpie had another idea. So uh, some people might be scared of those, but I don't think anyone's been more happy to be swarmed by a magpie. <laughs> Hope you enjoyed this. That was fun as always, man. Never a dull moment with Australia. Always fun stuff. We got a lot of awesome Australia content and other stuff coming this weekend. So stay tuned. I appreciate you guys. I cannot wait to see your comments on this one. I appreciate you watching. My name is Ian. You're watching IW Rocker. Until next time, y'all. Catch you later.